In this video, we will show the recommended procedure to replace a complete knife on the Honeybee Low Cut System. All Airflex SDX headers are equipped with a low cut knife. The Airflex and RDX models can be equipped with either a low cut or standard knife. Start out by removing the transition plates at the front of the knife drive. At this point the grease zerks can be removed from the knife head bearing housing as it is required for reassembly. Remove the two bolts securing the knife head bearing. This will allow you to pull the housing off the knife head. There may be shims located behind the housing. Make sure to reinstall the shims to the same side that they were removed from. Remove the center divider from between the two knife heads. Then remove four to six guards in front of the knife that you are replacing. Note that there are spacers used directly in front of the knife drive and wear plates used across the remaining guards. Wearing protective gloves, lift and pull the knife out from the remaining guards. Running the header prior to removing the knife will make this process much easier as it will clear the sections of any rust. Assemble all components in the reverse order. When installing the guards, make certain the guards and wear plates are adjusted properly. Insert a pry bar between the guard and the knife back and apply pressure so the guard is as far forward as possible before tightening the hardware. Torque the guards to 40 foot-pounds. Pack the bearing housing with grease, taking care not to dislodge the needle bearings. Check that the seal is in good condition and start the bearing at an angle. Slowly rotate while pushing down until it bottoms out. This method will keep from damaging the seal during installation. Apply high strength Loctite on the knife head mounting bolts. Loosely install the bolts. Install previously removed shims between the knife head and the bell crank. Torque the knife head bolts to 170 foot-pounds. Install the grease circ in the back of the knife head bearing housing. This was removed to allow the internal pressure to be relieved during assembly. These bearings should be greased one to two pumps every 10 hours. After servicing, relieve the pressure by pressing in the zerk ball. Too much grease can cause excessive down pressure on the knife head, which could shorten the lifespan of wear components. Reinstall the transition plates. The transition plate directly above the drive should be pulled as far forward as possible. This will prevent the drive from contacting the plate.
There is a quick overview of how to replace a knife on the Honey Bee Low Cut System. If you have any further questions, please refer to your operator's manual or contact your local Honey Bee dealer.